Hi guys, let's talk about sound. So I want you to go into your bags that you got from us with your STEM supplies in it, or your activity supplies, and I want you to find your can of Pringles. Uh, it may not be this flavor, it may be a different flavor. Uh, you ha should have a white cup that looks like this right here. Um, a bunch of different rubber bands. Find all your rubber bands. And you have some popsicle sticks. Okay. Um, before we get started, we need to open our Pringles. And while we work, we're going to have a snack. So we're going to open our Pringles. And you can eat these. Now, you'd probably want to pour them out on a plate because we're going to need the container and maybe even the lid. Okay. So let's have a snack. Convert this Pringles can and this cup into musical instruments. Now, we could do them just like this, but it's kind of boring. I always like to dress things up a little bit. So I thought maybe it'd be fun to decorate these a little bit. Now, this one's just a white paper cup. You could use paint on here. You could use crayons. You could use markers. You could do whatever you want. This one's a little bit shinier and slick, so marker's not going to stick well. But what you could do is color a piece of paper the right size to go all the way around the can and um, tape that on, I'm going to actually use a scrap piece of wrapping paper that I have. And you may have some of those too around the house, just a little piece, just big enough to go around your can. So I want you to be creative, look around your house, think about how you would like to decorate these two things on the outside. And then look, when you've got that done, we'll come back together and we'll convert these into musical instruments. Okay guys, I'm back. I've uh, took some time and decorated my two little musical pieces here. Uh, my Pringles can. I had this nifty little gift wrap scrap laying around, and so I cut a strip that uh, was the right size, wrapped it around, and put a little piece of tape on it. So now my uh, Pringles can is decorated, and my cup, I just used some markers and decorated it up a little bit. And we're going to use two popsicle sticks to create a drum here. We could create a drum here. And we can also use our rubber bands and stretch them over our cup for a guitar or over your Pringle can for a guitar. Now, if you notice your rubber bands are different colors and there should be um, different sizes. So some are really thick and some are really thin. And I want you to explore what kind of sound comes from each of these items. So um, in order to explore that better, I'm going to show you this nifty little app I found. And this app is called BouncyBalls.org. Let me check this out. So this is BouncyBalls.org. And you can pull this up on your device. And when it's quiet, the balls don't bounce. And when I talk, even if I talk louder, the balls bounce more. And what I want you to do is use your musical instruments. And where did my drumstick go? Here's my drumstick. Be quiet. Or you could use your cup. Or you could add your rubber bands to your instruments and see how that affects the bouncy balls. Let's just try that real quick. I'm going to put it on my Pringle can. Put a rubber band on there. Let it get quiet. And see how you can make the balls bounce in this app. Now this app is really cool and I like it because it does some other cool things. Over here you can see you can change the settings. You could change this to emojis. Um, let's see if I can do this. I'm not even looking at it. Let me see what I can change it to. If I go up here and hit emoji. Oh, and look at this. Are these not cool? All these bouncing little heads. The other thing you can do is if you want to um, 
to change the amount or how much they bounce. You can put change how much they bounce based on how much noise they're getting, or you can change how many are even there. So by sliding these different, um, different two icons, you can change the settings in it. You can also, up at the top on this app, up in here, you can turn the mic off. So right up here, you can turn the mic off. Um, and I believe you can even turn the sound off. You can also, if you go down here to the bottom, you can turn on alerts. So what it's gonna do is, if you get too loud, it will give you a signal. So if I'm talking really loud, it tells me it's time to be quiet. So this is pretty cool. I want you to get on and play with this app a little bit. Um, I'd like you to see how much effect you can have on the balls. Now when you're adding your strings to make guitars, remember you can add more than one so that you could actually play a little song on here. I want you to be creative and see what you can come up with. And I would like you to try and create a graph that shows how much noise you made and how much the balls moved. The other thing I'd like you to do is test some other sounds around the house. It doesn't have to necessarily be one of these musical instruments. Maybe you have a piano or a guitar in your house or maybe a ukulele. Maybe one of your older siblings plays a, an instrument in the band. What about a tuba or a flute? The other thing you could test would be the appliances in your home. How much noise are they making? It'll show on this on this app. Um, the other thing you could test were uh, your pets. See how loud your dog's bark is. See how long the, how loud the cat's meow is. Uh, the volume on your TV or your gaming device. So have some fun. Test your sounds around the house. Test the sounds from the instruments that you've made with the kit that you've been given. Share your thoughts um, and ideas and findings with your teacher in your Google Classroom. And we'll see you real soon.